Could I say 
Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not enough for Lot to walk with Abraham. Lot needed to walk with God for himself. It wasn't enough for Demas to walk with Paul. Demas needed an encounter with God for himself. I'm a third generation Pentecostal. I need an encounter with God for myself. Hallelujah. My granddad served the Lord all those days of his life. My mother died speaking in tongues. Whoo, Shabbat Katala. My mother had an experience with God. Sister Amy, she, uh, she has COPD. She took pneumonia and ended up in the hospital. I was preaching a camp meeting in Manitoba. And I flew home. My sister called me and said, Perry, you want to see your mom living? You need to go home. So Andrew, I jumped on the next plane and flew home. I got there at 2 o'clock in the morning. And the crazy thing about my mother, she had this wild experience with God in the last few days of her life. How they love my mother always dyed her hair. I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> always kept it dyed. Put, put the color of this girl down. I'm not saying you dye your hair. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that my mother has <laughs> But once you go a few weeks and not die, it would be gray again. Yeah. Now, I don't, you understand what I'm saying, right? Yes. But the funny thing is, my mother was in the hospital for two weeks. Her hair didn't go gray, it went back to her brown hair than when she was young. And her face, Pastor Paul, she was 76 years old. Her face was as clear as that page. There was not a wrinkle on her face. You put your hand on her face, it was as not smooth as yours. It was as smooth, smooth as that. Not that. You know what I'm saying, sister. She got the right question. Her face was as smooth as can be. And my mother laid in bed. And when she was leaving this earth, she left it like this. The nurses is looking at what in the name of God? She'd stop speaking in tongues and then she'd sing, What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. Now she was a better singer than me for sure. That's not enough. I need an encounter with God for myself. My grandfather, Ron McDonald, came to the Lord on January the 1st, 1942. They cut a hole in the river ice in the Miramichi, wired po post to a ladder and let him down into the water and see me baptized him in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's an awesome experience. That's not enough for me. Right. I need an experience from God for myself. Right. As you lift your hands, actually, if you'd stand right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And as our precious sister comes back to the piano just for a moment and as everybody in this church lifts your hands to Jesus Christ I want you to ask the Lord I want you to tell the Lord Jesus Christ I need a life changing encounter with you I've been trying to do this on my own Jesus I've been trying this journey by myself and it's just not working out for me, Jesus. I would like to have a fresh encounter tonight. Oh, everybody in this place, would you pray that prayer, please, right now? Lord Jesus, I would like to have a fresh encounter with you tonight. I feel a little bit weary and a little bit tired. I need a fresh encounter with you, Jesus. Life has beaten me up and I feel beat down. I need an encounter with you right now, Jesus. Everybody, seriously, come on. Everybody with your hands lifted. Jesus Christ. Come on, pray that out loud. I need an encounter. I need a fresh encounter. My body is weary and tired. Pain, sickness, and disease in my body. I need an encounter with you, Jesus. My mind and spirit is weary and tired. 
I need an encounter with you, Jesus Christ. My family, I can't seem to get an answer on any side. I can't figure my children out. I need a divine encounter with you tonight, Jesus. She may have so My children are not saved. I need an encounter with you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My husband, my wife doesn't serve. I need a better job. I need my teenage children to serve you, Lord. I need a fresh encounter with you tonight, Jesus. I will ask you right now with the Holy Ghost. I'll ask you, would you turn aside like Moses did? You see, precious people of God, the Holy Ghost is in this place, and the Word of God has gone forth in power. But would you be like Moses and turn aside and say, Jesus Christ is you and I. I don't care what my neighbor does tonight. I don't care what my best friend does or says tonight. I'd like to have a fresh encounter with you right now. Sister, will you begin to play that song you sang tonight? I believe you're my healer, the whole my every moment. I'd like for everybody in this place as we did this morning, I'd appreciate it if everybody would walk down to the front. Somebody lead the way right now. Young people lead the way. Would everybody in this building come and stand and lift your hands up to God? Would you tell them right now, Jesus, I need a life change in your delta. Jesus Christ, I am so weary and tired. My home seemingly has no peace nor joy. I need an encounter with you, Jesus. I think I'm so